been a long day. Don't need many more of these. One more thing to do, and now we can get this party started. As Pink would say. Alrighty. Let's do wear first. Yeah, take, 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 take. We're going to Europe. Yay, we're going to Europe. Oops. Yep. We don't know plane yet. What are we going to fly? I added some planes. P100, P34A, or PA34T, uh, 310, P100, added a couple. Let's see what we're going to fly. Oh, the old good old TBM. Love the TBM. Okay, so we got TBM. Uh, well, I'll go with that. Just shorten time down. See what we can find in Europe for the TBM. Maybe. No suitable airport could be found given criteria, seriously. No, we can turn off ATC coverage. Pico Airport. No idea where that is. Let's see what this looks like if we plug in. It's hour and 54. Let's see what happens if we plug in the TBM and it'll tell us about where we want to go. That's short. Oh, for crying out loud! So it, we're not gonna find anything going there. We gotta reroll. We gotta. No, no, no. We gotta. Let's try again. <laughs> Dear Lord, that was nowhere. All we were ever gonna find, and uh, there was that one little airport. That's got totally shit weather. We don't want totally shit, do we? Two. Well. Let's see what it looks like when we plug it into TBM zone. I probably should pick a different plane for it. Or that looks better. It's an hour and a half. Looks like a really wonky freaking departure. <laughs> That's a funky departure. Where the hell is that? Poland. I'm going to Latvia. Yeah, why the hell not? We can do that one. That's scheduled block time. That's actually going to be less than that. Or if we should pick a little bit longer flight, but I like that climb out. It looks like it's going to be weird. Yeah, what the hell, we'll do it. We'll do this one. We'll generate the flight. See where it puts us for an altitude. With a TBM, because it likes to put TBM like way up there. At 28,000 feet. That's right. By the time we climb, it'll be time to come down. Okay, now I just got to bring it over to the other. I got to save it so I can put it up. Anybody wants it? Hey, currently landing along just. Can we tell jokes about Polish people all stream? 
Is that not nice polish? <laughs> Here, what am I doing? Oh, I'm gonna throw it up in Discord. Takes care of that. That. That I can go over here and I just gotta pull it up over here the other computer so I can fix the flight plan. It really looks like a funky takeoff landing where it number nineteen from taking off on nineteen landing on twenty one. Okay, flight plan is now in the chat box. Has the flight plan. All I have left now to do is get my console. Hello, Mrs. TPHI. Colonel Indian, along us, Mr. Zenon Zolik. How are you? I'm sorry I didn't just get caught up on chat. I was busy doing the finding stuff. We're taking the 930. Cause I like it better. Hobby isn't home. You out drinking with the boys? <laughs> uh, I can load it from the plane, can I? What was their takeoff from my takeoff airport? Is EPSY? Probably gonna switch it up from live time. Gonna take off runway 19, so we'll set the departure right there. We'll fly, but we'll kick our time up. We don't want it totally black. Oh, you're still working. Well, he'll just miss out there. <laughs> You gotta catch up. He's taking all that time off lately with his back and shit. You gotta get caught up. Then he'll fuck up his back again trying to catch up. Hello, Mighty. Ugh. What am I doing? I'm waiting for this stupid thing to load. And we're gonna change the time. Oh, but it's so pretty. But no moon, it's going to be darker than hell. We'll kick it up to sunrise. There we go. Little, little. Oh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Some lipstick and a little blush goes a long way. What a mess. What, what the fuck did I miss? I gotta get chat back up. Where are you, chat? Not top chat, all chat. Alrighty. Oh, I haven't started this thing in forever. Main on a ground plane. It's been a while. It was on. Let people know we're gonna. St we're starting everything up. Hey. Fuel pump on auto. Auto. Engine on. Engine's on auto. Fuel selectors, auto. How much fuel do I need to have in here? 
What is our fuel load out for this flight? Block fuel of 1,100 pounds. 1,101 pounds. Back down to battery. Everything else looks good. Get our heat. I guess that looks good. Separators off. Brakes on. The sim brief. Like I said, it's got a really wacky climb out. Big square route. Should be fun. Should be fun. We'll set an approach. We're supposed to be coming in on... We'll get that squared away now before we take off. We're landing on 2-1. Visual two on. We only got visual. Do straight. It'll work. Yeah, I know obstacle clearance is not provided for visual approach. <laughs> I think yep, it's all about done. Get the RPMs up just a touch to get it out of the yellow. Come on, warm up, warm up. There we go. Get the prop RPM up out of the yellow. I think we're good. I think I actually got everything squared away. I haven't flown this in forever. <laughs> I've forgotten how insanely easy it is to start. There's Reaper hanging out over there. All the control surfaces look good. Get takeoff trim. We'll get the trim set before we take off anyway. 12%, 15. Yeah, about 12 is good. We're not heavy. Oh, I didn't set my. I set the fuel before we pull out of here. I said I need 1,100 pounds. Or 1,000. Or pretty. Or. What did I say we need? Yeah, 1,100. Good enough. Right there. And 28,000 feet. Get the brakes off. Not going to wait for you to push me back. It could take all day. See if I could taxi and set the altitude at the same time. Probably not. Oh, this is the one I can't change. Can I use the one over here? No. Son of a bitch. I should use the 750 and cheat. Halfway there. This thing's got a 32,000 foot ceiling, so it just surprises me. Did you see they brought the new Piper 700 series to, um, they brought the Piper 700 series to Sun and Fun, the new one? Brought the first one? God, has that been gorgeous. Should have my taxi light on, but I didn't put them on now, anyways. Whenever you're ready, Reaper. Or I'll turn in front of you here. Whichever. One. Oh, it looks like they're a pretty good crosswind there.
gear up. God oh, knows, stay down. RPM's back. Nav mode, autopilot on. Autopilot on. On. No, why won't it go on? Flight director on. What the fuck? I'll try this one. We're gonna override it somehow. Th this is why I'm fed up with this. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna miss my turn. You won't turn on either. What are you giving me for? I'm getting errors. Why am I getting errors on my auto? Oh well. Be that way. We can hand fly it for now. Oh, the relaxing flight, yeah. Not sure why the autopilot won't turn on. What am I missing? Shut those off. We're good. Flaps up. Gears up. Right. Gears up. Gears up. Flaps are up. It won't turn on. It'll transfer to the him. That's so strange. It'll like transfer over there, but it won't turn on over here. There, a button. <laughs> it should be on. It should be on. Oh, it's off. You're right. Sorry. I had autopilot off. That would do it. Thank you. I thought I had it set. I thought I had it on auto. I had it on off. Thank you so much. I didn't catch that right off the bat. I thought that was on auto. My bad. And I said it too. That's the worst part. I just didn't set it where it should have been. At the dumb airplane? No, I'm not taking it back. Now, I was a dumb pilot. <laughs> It was. I love this plane. And that's a setting I should know. That's the sad part. That's a setting I should I should very well know that setting. Oh well. It is what it is. Very long day dealing with a sick dad and two sick dogs. Ugh. I know it. See that? She fucking getting smarter every day. I sit corrected. Pretty out here, did I lose? Oh, there's a reaper. I said this thing had the weirdest climb out I've seen yet. Had a whole box you had to fly. We can get radar on this one, right? There we go. There's like... Is there a funky climb out? <laughs> I just happened to remember. and I should have known better, too. That's the worst part. Not a super long flight.
lot of air traffic zones. <laughs> of course, we're in next to a war zone, so. Hell of a crosswind. I know it. Well, I'm thinking it has to do with Belarus being right there. That's my guess. Is there's no terrain, but I'm betting they want you above a certain altitude before you cross military zones. That would be my best guess. There's probably a military installation over here. You got Belarus right there. So my guess is military reasons. They want you up before you go out. Because look at this crazy, I don't have my charts turned on right now. If I did, you could look these up and see what they were. And I'm betting you got some military installations in here that they want you well high above them before you go over them. Would be my guess. I could be wrong, but we are in Poland. <laughs> I like my dad's cancer doctor. He's going to go for another scan because he didn't believe the scan that the other doctors, the one doctor thinks he found something on. He doesn't believe it. He says it looks more like a shadow, so fingers crossed. But he wants to do a scan at their new, a new PET scan at, by his office. And he's got a direct computer tie into that PET scan so he can literally watch the results as it's coming in. And he'll meet with my dad right after the scan's over. It's all military. I looked it up. Oh yeah, mom being a nurse, you're gonna have two or three opinions. <laughs> but he want he he literally has a direct link to the scanning software, and he will actually get it as it's scanning my dad. It's all military. That's what I figured. But so he will, and he'll meet with him like he said, like right after the scan, you walk out of there, you walk over to my office, and we'll take it from there. So. He said, it's amazing, it's been 10 years cancer-free as it is, because he was the doctor then. He said, 10 years cancer-free after stage four lung cancer is amazing. <laughs> so, he, he said, even if it is something, it's so small that they'll get it taken care of relatively quickly and without a lot of issue. He said, it's so small, it's in a spot where they won't even, they can just remove it. They don't have to do all the radiation, all the crap. They can get every bit of it without damaging it too much. So. And Maddie's got ear infections again. And poor Lily tore a tendon in her knee. And she got the lump on one side and the bad tendon on the other. And she's wobbling around like, <laughs> she can't she can't go straight. She's got to go sideways. Ugh. It's been a long, long, long day. Poor Maddie, it's raining so she can't go out. She's even more upset. Well, it's cool the way they work it because there's two doctors that both, if one finds it, anything, he sends it to the other and he double checks and then we'll go to the other doctor who does the radiation. This guy, this guy's the actual, the first doctor found it Sent to this guy who's a surgeon, 
and he doesn't think it's much of anything. But he's ordered a better scan, a more high quality scan, high def scan. Hello, Brett. Good evening, sir. I hope you are well. Getting rested up after your vacation. It's always the way it is, isn't it? You go on vacation, you gotta come back and take a rest from your vacation. <laughs> Does anybody actually go like just get rest on a vacation? Anybody? Huh, I have no idea. I just started early, so maybe that's why. I started early so we could get the flight plate in. You'll be taking some time off too. <laughs> get some relaxing in. I'm trying to go camping, but I can't find a place that's open. The weather's so nice, and it's, most of the campsites don't open for another month. And, and the weather's like beautiful. I just want to go. I just want to take off for like three or four days. Unplug, go in the woods. But that one's still closed because the road's all muddy. The, the ranger, she, it's cool. The ranger's a nice lady. She's a riot. She was gonna said she'd text me when the road's open, because that's how that one opens. Depends on when the road is no longer muddy, so people don't ruin the road. So as soon as the road's open, I can go. Nice. I'm going to keep the Around the World stream going, but for right now, that's going to kind of be it. With the exception of, I'm like, something comes up, I just, I don't know what I'm doing. Hello, Dale K. How are you this evening? Made down there in a little 172. Yeah, like I was saying, they got the 700. Uh, Piper brought the seven, the new 700. Uh, so cabin differential bleed off. Oh my bleed air! Where the fuck's my bleed air? It's over here, isn't it? Where's my bleed air on this one? No, that's the ram air. Where's my bleed? That's my alternate. Where's my fucking bleed air? There's my air bowl right there. Cabin differential pressure, who cares? Where's my cabin pressure? That should all be on. Starter engine's off. Bleeds on out, that's normal. Don't need a mask. <laughs> Micro mask, I don't know. It's mad at us, so. There's not much else to set. <laughs> Love how it switches the tanks back and forth. Nope, don't see it. Don't see my cabin pressure. It's right here. Pressurization normal. That really pissed it off. 
He was oxygen because I dumped all the pressure. That's funny. <laughs> XF11, kind of cool. It's fast for a Yeah. It only ever flew once. So. Yeah, I know I got master cautions of orange because I fucking dumped all the air pressure. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, let's use the oxygen mask right there. Oh, well. Not worried about it. Yeah, I like the XF11. I'm responsible for the clean windows switch, by the way. I argued with them that a plane that only flown once ever would never have dirty windows because it didn't have a chance to get dirty. So when does my schedule finish? What schedule? I'm going to keep flying... Tuesday nights. That's it. Everything else is going to be when I feel like it and what I feel like. That's it. Tuesday nights around the world, I want to keep going. That, other than that, I don't. I'm not going to stick to any kind of schedule. Now it's a Boeing. Yeah, the cabin depressurized. And now we can finally go north towards our destination. I don't know what I did. By doing that, I shut up, I turned off all the warnings <laughs> by blowing out the pressure and resetting it. Fixed it. <laughs> I can argue with that. Yeah, wait, well, you want? It's a great idea. You know what? It's just the way I got to do it for now. That's just. Just, just the way it's got to be. <laughs> and that's why I'm shutting off memberships, because I don't want to feel like I have to do something. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I mean, I don't want to feel like I have to stream this day and this day. Because people are paying me to stream those days. I don't, I don't want that pressure and to deal with that so that's why memberships are getting shut off you feel like I say people can feel free to donate a copy fund or whatever they want or don't donate, donate at all I don't care but the memberships are going away <laughs> You know, this is a hobby for me. This is not like you trying to, I, you're trying to make a living at it. You, you have to be more stringent on what you're doing. I don't want to do that. John Wayne by, oh no, no, we're not playing the Bobby. Nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. You see, he made a porn movie. Remember that shit? He made a porn movie called John Wayne, John Wayne Bobby. Uncut. Mine was meant to be out of here. I, I'm, if I didn't take this step and keep it a hobby, I would have walked away altogether. Now, I didn't want to do that because I enjoy, I enjoy the flying, I enjoy the gaming, and streaming. It's fun. It's a lot of fun, and I enjoy it. But I wasn't, and that was a problem. <laughs> So I'm trying this as a solution to the problem. And hopefully it works. Flex seal. <laughs> oh my god, good old flex seal. Alright, what's our altitude for the airport we're coming into? See if we can get a VNAV to work at all. What do we got here? Average wind, 44. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fun. 
Where's my arrival airport right there? True details. Am I just blind and not seeing it? 19 feet. <laughs> so that's easy enough. They do have side business too if it takes off more than more time will be diverted, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, who'd have thought money would be a problem, but it wasn't a problem. It was, I didn't like it. I didn't like I just I don't know. They're feeling too much like work and not enough like fun. No, I, I I know you're asking a legit question, and that's really the, the answer is um, I'll probably keep Tuesday nights for the Around the World stream because I want to keep that going. But other than that, there probably won't be any set schedule. If there's something I want to play, I'm going to play it. If I feel like streaming, I'm gonna, I don't give a shit if it's noon on Wednesday. You know, that's kind of the way... I won't get any views, but this is the way I got to do it. I got to I got to do what I got to do, not what you all want me to do. Not that I don't. I mean, I do a lot of this for you guys, but I got to do it for myself, too. And I kind of forgot that. I was doing everything for everybody else, not me. Had to be a bit selfish. <laughs> There will, there will probably be notice of streams. You know, like if I know there's a new plane coming out, I'll put something up saying, hey, we're going to fly this this week or there's something I want to do. If I'll just forward and want to do a bush flight this week, I'll throw one up and let everybody know ahead of time. You know, there'll be two or three days notice on most stuff. But if I, or, or I may just be yeah, like today I played two hours of Snow Runner. I could have streamed it, or you know, I could have set that up, you know, whatever. I, I just don't know. Most of it's going to have a couple days' notice on it because I want to give you guys flight plans and time to decide whether you're going to come and stream or not, or whatever, or stream or fly along or whatever. Tuesday nights will stay Tuesday nights because I don't do anything Tuesday nights anyways. But a lot of Friday nights I'm busy, so I had to stop that one. I tried to do that one, but it just wasn't working. It was interfering with stuff. <laughs> and flying three nights a week was getting excessive for me. Especially when a sim wasn't cooperating with a lot. It's still not cooperating. <laughs> Starting it two or three times to get through it. Once it's up and running, it flies really well. <laughs> and the visuals are incredible now, but... I appreciate every one of, I mean, most of you, most of you, the vast majority of you have been members for, since day one. I won't forget that. <laughs> the, the vast majority of you guys that are still here have been members from day one, and I won't, for, I won't forget that. I will always keep that in mind. I know who's who, who has been, who hasn't been. 
I don't care if you've been a member for one month or five months or whatever, but some of you guys have been here nine months since we first started memberships. It means a lot to me that you've done that, but I just got to get rid of it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, 2024, yeah, when that kicks in, I'll probably do a little bit more of that, obviously. And I also want to, yeah, it's silly, but I want to continue to, one of the big reasons we're continuing the Around the World flight is the very next plane is Gunner's. And I don't want to not do his planes because he's done so much for me. So I have to do, you know, I, I'm going to do those no matter what. <laughs> it's gonna have to be quite a bit above yeah it's got it's funny because i flew x-plane 12 for several hours i just uninstalled it again i get sick of it but there are parts to x-plane 12 that are light years ahead of microsoft that if they can just get those into Microsoft, they got it made. The f airplanes act a little better in X-Plane 12. They do have better flight characteristics. But X-Plane 12's airports, even the small airports in the middle of nowhere, don't have random lights down the middle. They don't have taxiways blocking. They're perfect. The, their airports are spot on. The, the airports are phenomenal. And the distant mountains are incredible. As soon as you get close to the mountains, they look like shit. But <laughs> if you're 20 to 30 miles away from a mountain range, it looks incredible. And even like 50 miles when they're just starting to show, they look so much better than flight sim. But that's it. Everything else in X-Plane 12 is shit. <laughs> Sadly, just about everything else is garbage. The water physics are better. The Airports are better. Yeah, I know it. Well, part of this is still running on the old X-Plane 10 or whatever it is. Not X-Plane, sorry. Microsoft Flight Simulator 10. Part of the soft underlying software of this is 10. That's one of the reasons they're having such a mess of problem with it. Because they finally admitted they used a bunch of the old software so that they could beat X-Plane 12 to market. So, 2024 better be a big rewrite step up. <laughs> Holds the rights to the software and won't sell it. Oh, I know. A company with the backing of Microsoft. Should. Yeah, complete ground up. Just get rid of all that old code. Allow us to use all 24 processors that we have inside our computer instead of four. That's the maximum flight sim can use is four. We're all sitting on 12, 16, 24, 18. We can use four. <laughs> you know, let's get this thing up where it's supposed to be. Nobody's sitting around with a four core processor anymore. Or if they are, it's a handheld. <laughs> My little handheld, that little tiny Neo Mini, has a four core processor in it. <laughs> well, so the thing about the current aircraft files, they're really just data all you got to do is have it handled with the same data that's that's not a real hard part i think that's a relatively easy part because it's a it's an airframe it's what do i want to say the gunner's always talking about the textures 
It's basically just a bunch of textures and a flight characteristics. So, <laughs> yeah, change the world and put the aircraft in them. And allow the, I'd like to see the aircraft be able to go to, you know, like five or eight K on the aircraft and actually see them in that level. Man, that would make my fans come on. But then maybe developers can sell an upgrade where you don't have to buy it. In other words, you could still fly the plane that looks exactly like this. But if you have the hardware and in the new system, you can fly a 4K or 8K plane, allow the developers to sell an upgraded skin for it. That way they can make a little money on the new sim too. Add it for flight handling and file. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure where that's going. You know, I, I, I don't think anybody knows because they've been real quiet about it. I'm sure some of the bigger developers know because their planes have been seen in 2024. <laughs> so I'm sure some of them know. I'd like to see a path for guys like Gunner and stuff like that to still make money on the new sim. That must be the bad weather they were talking. They said there was bad weather where we were going. I lose Reaper? I think I lost him. Yeah, and fix shit like that. I don't know if he left or if I just lost everybody. Except for him. <laughs> I may be flying alone. Hard to tell Microsoft does this. See, they gotta fix s simple things. Oh no, the trailers are always jacked up animations. No, they're, they're Most of his jacked up animations on high end, super high end machines would never work that way. You're still here? Just can't see anybody? Figures. <laughs> uh, let's say we got to go down to 100 feet that's what we're looking at for a landing airport no it's 28 18 feet so we'll just go down to we'll let it slam us into the runway we'll go right down to zero really wish they'd make this one so you can right click it and switch it from hundreds to thousands but that's okay we'll get there eventually <laughs> give ourselves a V now now on zoom out our thing see if we have a Todd. Yep, we got a Todd. Okay, we're good. Should be a pretty chill flight now. Looks like I could see more. This is a big airport. Or a long runway, anyways. Farm country. I think one of the funniest things of 2024, and, and this is just 
it's the number of people I hear bitching that is a sim and 2024 is adding mostly game game elements. <laughs> He's adding missions, all kinds of missions for game for basically a gaming element to it. Rescue missions with helicopters, firefighting missions. Shit like that. And so it's like it's adding a game mode to everything that it's not a game, it's a sim. <laughs> but they're adding game elements. I don't know why I'm fascinated by that cloud. <laughs> There's Reaper. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That is one long ass beach. Far enough north, it's probably used like for a month out of the year. <laughs> Your eldest daughter's bidding right now. Hello, TPHI's eldest daughter. You want to hear stupid? And this is why I just... One of the things I just can't quite understand with YouTube. My most watched video of the month is Maddie going out in the snow and saying, oh, hell no, and turning around and coming right back in the deep snow. She's like, nope, coming back. Somebody fucking flagged that for advertising. Somebody actually filed a complaint and flagged that for advertising, so it was not suitable for all advertisers. <laughs> I messaged my community manager and I said, can you please tell me what of this video is not suitable for all advertisers? It's a dog walking in deep snow. Nobody says a word. There's no music. Just a dog... So seeing the deep snow turning around coming back to the door just really let me look at it 10 minutes later it's back to full monetization but that's how shit makes no sense i mean and then we can say stupid shit on these streams and swear up a storm and they'll be fucking fully monetized i one of those stupid people who called her fat and i've deleted their so probably somebody called her fat and I deleted their fucking account or deleted their message got pissed off and put the support turned it in or some shit but the thing is by the time they turn it in by the time I gotta go and fight it and get it turned back on I've already lost 90% of the views I and mean, I'm not worried about the money it's just stupid how that works somebody can complain against your stream They'll hit you for it instantly. And by the time they work it out, people have stopped watching it. <laughs> I want to move to Rumble. There's nobody over there, but... <laughs> Oh yeah, you get flagged, but you, you get flagged, but you don't get, it doesn't hit your channel and it prevents you from monetizing it altogether. You, you can't ever, not available in all countries. <laughs> I've had not available in like 124 countries. I've had it not available in two countries. A 32 copyright claim, yeah. You can't ever make them public. Yeah, now it's blocked. Yeah, that's. I deleted mine afterwards. You can't go back and rewatch them because once they're played, you don't get a strike. It doesn't hit your channel at all. You don't get an actual copyright strike. 
Really? Huh. Wow. I didn't get that online. But I deleted them the day after. When all the shit popped up. It doesn't affect the channel. You just can't. You can do it live for them and that's it. Nobody gets to watch it after the fact or anything. Hey, one of them was only blocked in Russia and Belarus. Oh, let's see. I can even bring up YouTube over here. Without screwing things up. No, it doesn't show in your members only at all. Last one was two weeks ago. Or two months ago. No. Nope. Does not show. They're really mad at you. What would you play? Like freaking Hud Zeppelin or something? <laughs> or Metallica? Metallica fucking goes after everybody. If you even use a little tiny bit of their song, they freak out. <laughs> I played mostly 80s. It was only blocked in two countries. Russia and Belarus. <laughs> I couldn't monetize it, though. One Metallica, but never played. <laughs> if nobody can see it, that's what I did. I played it for everybody and deleted it. Very difficult. They're going to block it in 146 countries. There's no sense in keeping it up. <laughs> Lars is the worst drummer ever. Neil Pert is the best drummer ever. Changed my mind. That's what it's about, isn't it? Having fun. Especially the members only, only streams. I don't run midstream ads. Drive me fucking nuts. I tell it all. All I, I tell it. I'll insert them manually, and then never insert them. <laughs> That's how you solve that fucking problem. There is a way around it. I'll insert them manually, and never put them in. <laughs> problem solved. You only get them at the beginning and the end. So much good material tonight. What are you talking about? I'm sad some dank and truck scenes, but not good time. I think I'm going to do a f flight video with that lady's song. Everybody's doing videos that this lady, she, her kid's really young and she's dying of cancer and her song's gone global. And everybody's doing a video with her song and not and letting them claim the copyright on it. So any money it does make all goes to her son. So I'm probably going to be on the for air, aircraft set to music video again, but I'll, I'll take the copyright claim and let them 
They're not striking channels. They're just claiming the channels that play it so that the money all goes to any money made goes to the kid. It sucks. She's got terminal cancer and the kid's young, but at least maybe it'll set him up with some money to. No amount of money will offset losing your mom, but. little bit helps look there's a ship down there oh where'd he go <laughs> and there's some white caps down there it must be some pretty good wind It's too bad the stream doesn't take like it does the airplanes and put put in the shipping because there is a thing that tracks shipping just like they track just like they track the all the aircraft when it does it for shipping. That beach is huge. Look at that. It goes from here all the way up to here. And they cut an inlet in. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, you can see Reaper's just tickling the edge of my radar. Inside of two miles. <laughs> you know... <laughs> uh, fucking brain just farted. X-Plane 12 has trains. Every time I land at Plattsburgh, because the tracks go by right there, there's always a train going by when it's going to land. But let's just say, how can I put this? If trains are not in 2024, they will be in 2024. Let me put it to you that way. Can't say who or what or when, where, or why, or how. But if trains are not native in 2024, trains will be in 2024. Hey, that guy. How are you this evening? <laughs> I can say a lot of the work's already been done, but they're waiting on 2024 to see how much is native and what's not. Good, just found me flying. You did. I don't see you. See you. <laughs> I see Reaper. Oh yeah, it's dark. <laughs> There's no moon. Yeah, not, oh, that's bright. That's like blindingly bright. Go back to six o'clock. Seven o'clock. <laughs> oh, I I can't comment any more any more than what I've commented on. But One way or another, there'll be some in 2024. <laughs> B 
about our bad weather we get to land in? Pretty much. What's our landing pattern look like? I'll just loop in. Okay. We're going to handle that. I'd like to see that they could do the ship traffic in real time. They really could. There isn't. But you'd have to. It's a paid app. So you'd have to. Everybody would have to subscribe to it. But you could do it. Because there is a paid shipping app. It shows most flagged ships in the world. So you could... That wouldn't be too awful difficult to put in there. Oh, rivers? What they need to do with rivers? I'm sorry, but... Unless they can figure out a way to make the water where the river water really is, just shut it off on rivers. Let the satellite picture show the river. Because, <laughs> dear Lord, they've got it fucked up now. Here's this long, straight thing of water running straight, straight up the side of the mountain and back down. And it's not even where the river should be. And uh, I'd rather just a satellite picture than have that mess. Yeah, it's just like the aircraft trackers. Yeah, I've, I've seen it. They just got to put it into the, they just have to put it into the um, sim. I'm, surprised, I'm actually surprised somebody hasn't tried it with a mod. But I think it's, is it a paid app? I don't, you say you have it, but is it a paid app? If not, you could just access the data. Then you just got to take the data and spit it in the sim. And kind of try to match ships like it. What's up with shipping guy has a free version? Yeah. I'm surprised it hasn't made it. It's way into the sim then. Yeah. Okay. I really think there's a lot more ships around than that one, wherever it went. <laughs> do we really have a TOD? Yeah, we do. It's just fucking late. <laughs> I'm always surprised at how fast this thing descends. I always think the TOD is wrong. And really what it is, is this thing just drops like a rock. Flight level 28 to 814. Bang. <laughs> so we got that big loop to come down in. No, I have it. I probably have it turned down. Probably one I haven't turned back up since getting the new thing because I had to turn it down in VR. That was one of the sneaky ways to make VR run a lot better. <laughs> is ditch traffic put traffic down to none like road traffic set that down to zero made a big difference in VR and the shipping turning it down because well it's kind of like turbulence the 100% real life is not 100% real one down from that is much closer to real than the one they have set for maximum real. <laughs> you have to put traffic down. Yeah, traffic fucking hammers. That's why in the, when I run VR, well, 
probably not in this box, but the old box I had to run. Just turning traffic off made a huge difference in VR. Because in VR, it's got to render the car twice in two different positions. And that would already causing stutters. And then when you have two of them to get in close and a lot of traffic, it would just slow the system right down. I have the one paid for shipping mod, but I see so few ships. <laughs> And then they want you to pay for each city. Okay, we got the world shipping mod. Oh, but now you got to pay for this city, this city, this city, and this city. So I finally gave up using it. It's like, no, I'm not going to buy a million cities. I already paid for your mod for the world. <laughs> that thing's going to have to drop like a rock in that loop. And I mean, a lot. But it says it'll do it. We will see. <laughs> That's a long ways around. Yeah, the seafront simulations one I'm talking about too, because I got the one that does the whole world from them. Or I think it's the whole world. The base one that's supposed to do the world, and then I have two or three cities, but then they kind of got crazy with like a million cities you had to buy separately, and I'm like, no. <laughs> they so seldom fly in the same place twice. And you know what? The... Well, it's not freeware anymore, but it's 15 bucks now. But the Marinos mod adds more ships and Marinos around the world than that Seafront Simulations ever did. Granted, they're not moving and going into shipping lanes and shit, but you fly over a lake, if there's a port, there's... Oh, you want a seven pack? Well, that's cool. I got Pringles. So you're going to have to wait. you got to put up with some crunching. Ah, oh, that's why we had to fly out around that. Probably a naval port. Guessing. Can't see it's in the clouds. Oh, there's another ship. <laughs> How we say that, they're going to start showing up more often. Whoa. There it is. Yes, all the power lines, solar farm, the power line solar farm is 15. The Marina's 15 and the ski lifts is 15. So, it went a little steep. The price went a little steep, I thought, personally. For something that had been freeware for three years, I think making that was a little steep, but I have one more code. If anybody wants it, 75% off, so it makes all three of them like 15 bucks. Yeah, I forgot to turn the tree one back on. Still off. <laughs> so I still have the tall trees. So I cleaned out. I dumped a whole bunch of crap I wasn't using. Yeah, don't back up your free downloads because there's. It kind of went a little high on the price there. I just don't go. I fly like this, like you're on the world. I'm on a different airport every time. These random flights are different airports every time. I have literally one of the few modded airports I have is the one William Kelly made is worked on because I land there all the time. <laughs> That's like the only airport mod I have on is the one next to Plattsburgh secret spot because I land there all the time. The rest of them I don't have. I because I don't land at any airport more than once. I would probably do Telluride, Colorado, because I do land there quite often, but that's one of the few I tend to go to. But. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> it goes back to it. You think you're a hoarder? Let me tell you something. Your wife gets at me, you, Minnie. I got a preloaded 128 gig card. <laughs> With virtually every English version of the games. For every thing that's in that handheld that I could possibly get my hands on. Like entire collections. Every single NES game, every single NES, SNES, every single Game Boy, every single Game Boy Color, every single Game Boy Advance, every single Sega Genesis, every single Sega CD. Yeah, <laughs> I have them all in that little tiny handheld. I love it. <laughs> you kept the old gems for a while on CD. I have. Only I have X Plane 10, Flight Simulator 10, and I found my old Jet Fighter 3. <laughs> I wish to God I could get that to fire up and run. Okay, then you're set. But if you, she needs any, let me know and I can make sure you can get access to them. Like if there's any systems that she doesn't have stuff to, I probably do. I don't have a CD reader anymore. None. I still have a bunch of fucking CDs, but I don't have a single computer that'll use them. I guess I could always borrow my mother's and put it on the network if I had to. <laughs> And I think the only bad weather is wind. There's still 44 knot wind. Yeah, there's it's clear skies, or not clear, but a little bit of rain off that way, but nothing to speak of. Yeah, I don't have one. I guess I could get one if I ever had to have it, but. I always rip the one out of my Xbox. I don't use it anyway. You still have your old fleet of Coronados with FXX. That's cool. I got rid of my... I still have my two, three... I got rid of the one because the two will play the one. Had the PSP, the PS Vita, and the five. The four and the five. I don't know why I still have the five. I should just get rid of the fucking thing. If it wasn't so much to ship you a PS5, I'd sell you one really cheap. Get all the hack corn out for the FSX. I had this whole flight sim set up, everything with the, the yoke and the pedals and all the shit, but it was the one before, was it FS2000 or some shit like that? It was one of the oddball ones. And then I got X. I didn't play it much. I kind of quit playing flight sim until this one came out. Probably because that damn Skyrim came out and fucked up my life. Another crisis system. <laughs> Skyrim ruined hours and 
Skyrim ruined years of my life. Getting fucking hours. Years of life has gone from Skyrim. <laughs> There's no cross check. I can give you every single plane that I've got, even the payware. There's not the ones from the internal marketplace. I haven't figured out how to get those out yet. But I can get all the all the others out, even the ones that supposedly, specifically, we have a special downloader installer to prevent you from stealing them and copying them. I can copy them a million fucking times. I've th probably a thousand hours in fucking Skyrim. Considering I looked the other day, I have 400 hours in SnowRunner. So I gotta have a thousand plus hours in Skyrim. <laughs> and then I and I just got Oblivion working. I got Oblivion and Skyrim working on the um, Steam Deck. I'm fucking love that shit. I'm done. <laughs> I put those glasses on and put that on when then. Dad was in the doctor's office playing Oblivion in the car. Nobody has a clue because I got my glasses on. Look like a pair of shades. I always played it solo. I never played with other people. I don't like other people. Let's see if this thing's going to drop fast enough. Time to drive home. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Skyrim was bad. I just put so much time. I, I put a lot of time in Oblivion, too. That's why I keep hoping to Christ they bring out Sky Oblivion. They've only been working on it. That whole Skyrim of redoing Oblivion in Skyrim. But it's been coming out. It's kind of like... The fuck's it called? Fusion. It'll be ready in another two or three years. It's always just two or three years away. Look for my flight. There, there's not going to be a flight tomorrow. Don't look for tomorrow. Tomorrow, Friday. I'm not doing anything. I'm going to watch the fights Friday night. That's what I'm doing. Bare Knuckle Fighting Championships tomorrow night. You want to come hang out? Chat, we can hang out, but I'm watching the fights. No flight. I don't fly on Fridays anymore. <laughs> I'm watching the fights this Friday. I go hang out with my dad and watch the fights. At least the first part of them. All right, okay. We got to go from 28,000 feet down to there in a loop. <laughs> Let's see how this thing does. I played the Grand Theft Auto 5 playthrough twice just so I could hear all of Trevor's sayings. We'll see you later, that guy. But I will not play the multiplayer in it. I never have, never will. Same with Red Dead. Played it, but didn't play the... But I did it twice just because Trevor made me laugh so much. There's never been a character in gaming that I've enjoyed more than Trevor. The, the fucking guy who wrote that and the guy who acted it just worked perfect. Uh, had me rolling for hours playing that game just seeing what Trevor was going to do next. <laughs> Yeah, uh, everybody just spam killing me, so I was like, fuck that. No, we didn't play the multiplayer. But I did play through twice just to try to pick up everything Trevor did. Try to hit all the different ones I missed the first time. Well, let's see if it picks it up and can get down that low. And that it's going to try to go in that way. It's not going to try to go from there to there, is it?
<laughs> yep. Catch a new guy coming out and just take all their shit. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Let's see if this picks up the track or not. We have to manually just fly this thing down. Depends on if it's got the loop going that way or that way. If it's going that way, we're fine. If it's going that way, we got a, we got a friggin', we picked up a, an approach. <laughs> Which way are you going? Because you go the wrong way. We're definitely not going to pick up the, we're not going to descend fast enough. No, we're good. We should we should descend now. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Come all the way back to there. Like it's all Super Mario World. Some of this shit still. Man, I hate Pringles. I love Pringles, but I hate it. They fucking just keep opening the fucking can. <laughs> I have no, uh, what the fuck's it called? Willpower when it comes to Pringles, so I don't normally buy them. The only way to not eat the whole can of Pringles is to not buy the whole can of Pringles. <laughs> They sell them in little bitty ones. I should get those. There, right, we're going down. I gotta watch my throttle. Make sure we don't overspeed it. It's supposed to be 135. Oh, we gotta slow way down. That's why it wants us to drop like a rock. We gotta drop our speed to 135. That's how we make the loop in that much time. We slow down. I don't even know if I can get to 135 descending from this altitude. Gran Turismo 6 is going back, or Grand Theft Auto 6 is going back to Vice City, isn't it? Is that where it's going? Oh, shut up, you're landing gear. I can't put it out yet. Fucking way the hell out. Shut up. I found Grand Theft Auto 1 the other day. I was laughing my ass off on the handheld. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, this thing was fucking horrible. <laughs> How did they ever end up making so many of them? <laughs> no, we're going to get 135. Look at that. We got traffic. No, now I'm gonna go too slow. Turbo props. I love them. See you, Brett. Thanks for stopping by. My God, this country has some beautiful beaches, huh? Hmm. 
It doesn't look like they're all built up either. A few little towns along them, but looks like it's pretty well left alone. Look at how far I am off from the wind. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get down there. We even have a glide slope because we're out so far. It's actually picked up a glide slope. That's a rip. We're on a visual. <laughs> Look at that. We're right at 135 where we should be. No auto throttle needed. tells me if we don't drop a lot faster we're not going to make it but whatever the computer says it's going to make it so. oh there's a reaper apparently he's not following the 135 that I'm following <laughs> he doesn't he's like what we got this. <laughs> we got this manually. <laughs> we got a barrel roll of TBM. Whoop. <laughs> That's one way to get the altitude down and go back to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> the passengers all puking and shit. <laughs> Definitely works though, huh? <laughs> This thing's going to be a handful on landing. These winds bonkers. Well, they've lost 10,000 feet. We'll be all right. Now, I see we have the two maps loading in on top of each other. Okay, we gotta stop eating Pringles. I'm not talking, I'm eating Pringles. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, fuck. This is why I don't eat while I'm streaming. The whole don't talk with your mouth full and shit gets in the way of streaming.
I was doing good at the store today till I saw fucking Pringles and I bought them. These new jumbo box bottles of fucking Tic Tacs. Doing good till I saw those. Other than wind, this hasn't been a very eventful flight with bad weather. We still got a glide slope on there. That's pretty good. Another fuel looks good. Everything looks good except for the wind. Me trying to find the wrong way. At that perfect time, I'm out of coffee. A little tea left. That loop was a lot bigger than it looked. <laughs> That's why I can come down from 28,000 feet in one loop. It's just a really big loop. this plane. Take this over the 500 amp any day. Just me, or does that look like the fucking. The trim's going the wrong way. 14 degrees up, that's up. Which means that's pushing that down, which is pushing the nose down. That's backwards. Just, just saying. <laughs> Gunner had it wrong, too. The Sobo's got it wrong. Your trim tabs go opposite what you would think. Because if that's up, it's pushing this part down, which is then in turn pushing the nose down. 
and that's not. It's on 14 degrees up, so that would be this way. So it'd be forcing that up, which would be forcing the nose up. Oh, Sobo got it wrong. <laughs> Trim tabs are the polar opposite of what you think makes sense. Be a little airport coming up. Oh, shit. <coughs> shit, and he held a fucking piece of burger. See if I can talk now. Nope, <laughs> not very well. <clears throat> Sorry, you're not supposed to inhale Pringles. Quiet little towns around here. There's the airport. Oh, stutter. Ugh. I should have left the, the video driver and the old video driver. <coughs> But no, I had to go and mess with it. Update it. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, that hurts. Don't put chips in your lungs. Jesus, I'm sorry. 
I need to keep coughing in here. Keep trying to breathe and talk, and it's not working. <clears throat> now we're doing on our altitude. We're doing all right. So pretty close to our glide slope. The wind's starting to really <laughs> toss it around, too. Ooh, I'm slowing down. Yeah, the wind's hitting me so hard, it slowed me right down. Didn't notice. Good way to die right there. Not noticing when you're slowed down. I was just coming in here to set something. I don't know what it was. No clue. Probably crash and find out. <laughs> like, Oops. That's what it was. Oh, landing lights. Start configuring our landing lights. Oh, I gotta get out of the plane and listen to it say traffic the whole time. Because <laughs> there's a Reaper like right there. And a Eddie's here too. <clears throat> too. Ah. Little toenail on me. No. Just left the sun. <laughs> but he's up there in a the TBM as well. Listen to Bitch and Betty. Traffic, traffic, traffic. I love how no matter where you go in the world, you eventually find a racetrack. I haven't found one tonight because I'm looking. But <clears throat> there's always, even if it's just a little dirt track around the farmer's field where the guys are tried to race something <laughs> so I hear the uh, Formula One car in the simulator that somebody has for sale has like really really shitty acceleration <laughs> I was like well it is a flight sim it's not a car sim I think there's our airport wind's blowing us we gotta get over here and then go down I think or is that it I don't know I'm terrible about finding the airports It must not be bad because we gotta go that way.
Yeah, it's definitely not an airport over there. Or if it is, it's not the one we want. God, I can, of course I can never find the airports. Story of my life in this simulator. Look over in here, I can see a ship when I exit out. Oh, it's way over there. Windmills, I think. Yep. Well, a few things the sim gets right. The faster the wind blows, the more the faster the windmills spin. Kind of cool. my instruments. <laughs> it's pretty wild. We're gonna, we're gonna be where we need to be, when we need to be there. That make any sense at all? <laughs> I don't know if we'll pick up an approach or not, but we've got a glide slope we can see visually. So we should be able to put this on the runway manually. Famous last words. My absolutely amazing landings. Not the best looking scenery. <laughs> That's really old satellite. Whew. Bottom percent right there, and then we should be able to pick it up, hopefully. Hopefully we can snag a glide slope. Other than the wind, this was pretty much an IFR flight the whole way. You didn't need to... There was no real bad weather other than wind. But like usual, I can't find the fucking airport. There, I think. Might be, but I think it's just... Some of this is old, old satellite. Maybe my data quit, but I can see Reaper, so I'm getting something. But we're one of those communist countries where they don't like to update everything. It could just be like really, really old satellite data.
or my computer just decided it's not going to download the data, which is entirely possible too. <clears throat> but I've still got Reaper, so yours is fine. So yeah, somehow I'm not picking up the data. Oh well, this is what it is. It's Microsoft Flight Simulator. You're one of the reasons why I'm sick and tired of flying it. Shit like this. I've still got internet. I've still got data. But it's not pulling it down. And I have it set for high maximum use. <sighs> or it reset it all, which is entirely possible because about every 10th time I load it, it resets half the settings. <laughs> if 2024 doesn't fix a lot of stuff, I'm going to be a Skyrim streamer. <laughs> I'm going to just go back and play Skyrim. <laughs> There's the power lines. They show up. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Be able to get our gear in her. Yep, let's get our gear. Flaps one and gear. See if we can get an approach. Nope. <laughs> that was stupid. We lost that whole setup, didn't we? Oh, we're on our own now. You're learning to fly the 737? Awesome. That really is awesome. That's a lot more work than I want to do. <laughs> You're already getting way more views than I am. <laughs> this is awesome, by the way. You don't even talk. You get way more views. Maybe that's my problem. I talk too much. I've lost my... I should. What the hell did I hit? I hit approach and I lost my stupid glide slope. Isn't that great? Why the hell would I hit my... Lose my glide slope? I've lost everything. <laughs> Getting good views though. Great, we got high winds. I got a, a absolutely flight sim two thousand runway in front of me. No town, no buildings, and nothing. I'm gonna stall in a second. For some reason that loaded nothing. I mean, this airport looks bad. Oh, no, don't go back up, you damn plane. It's all bumpy because it doesn't know what it is. <laughs> oh, turn, turn. Did that land like with a massive tailwind? No, it was a headwind. Not bad. I got nothing. Look at how bad this airport looks. I have no data at all. It's like I went into offline mode. Somehow, we'll go over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it fucking erased the settings on me. The one more thing I have to do every time I turn the plane on now, or the sim on now, is check all my data settings. Probably. Looks really nice for this plane. 
Bang. Fuel off. That's a board. I don't need that. Where's my fuel? Oh, down here. That's oh, right. There it goes. Why are you still rowing? You have no fuel. Oh, that's fine. No, no, over, over. That no, won't do it. I can't get it to go into the cutoff. I hate you. <laughs> well, fuck it. It's off. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Something's tried to load in there. <laughs> it's trying to load stuff in. Great stream. Thank you. Uh, thank Eddie and Reaper. Reaper. Couple old bastard squadron flying along. Eddie. Myself. Everybody in chat. Thanks for stopping by and flying along despite all the shit that's going down. I appreciate y'all for coming by. And hopefully we'll see y'all next Monday. Or Tuesday. Next Tuesday. We're going to be doing... Going to keep the round of the world going. And other than that, I really don't know. So... Till next time, guys, really take care of yourself. Look out for each other. I'm out of here. Have a good night, everybody.